Welcome to the lead. I'm Jake Tapper. We're going to begin with the politics lead. Welcome to Imagination Land. Obama tapped my phone island. Population, President Trump. The White House saying the president has no regrets about his fact-free claim that then-President Obama tapped his phone last year, even though just about everyone else in the city in the know or with the power to investigate the claim says it's not true. Oh, cut the crap! So they said, well, we want to monitor communications involving Donald Trump and several of his advisors. In October 2016, the Obama administration tried again. They submitted a slightly more narrowed down request to the FISA court. Now they focused on a computer server in Trump Tower. Ooh, there are links to Russian banks and so on. Again, no evidence is found, but the wiretaps continue. Or that they've seen nothing that can support the accusation. That includes Republican leaders on the Hill. That includes officials at the White House. Wait, what? The president, we put out a statement on Sunday saying that uh, we would have no further comment and we were asking the House and the Senate Intelligence Committees to look into this uh, concern um, and report back. Can't the president just ask the FBI director? Well, I, I think, I, look, I think, has no, the president has not. And I think that, you know, we, we've gone back and forth with you guys when the, I think there is clearly a role that Congress can play in its oversight capabilities. They made it very clear that they have the staff, the resources, and the process. I think that's the appropriate place for this to handle. Uh, I think if we were to start to get involved, you would then write stories about how we're getting involved. I think if the president walked across the Potomac, the media would report that he can't swim. Uh, so it's a no-win situation. I think the smartest and most deliberative way to address the situation is ask the House and Senate intelligence committees who are already in the process of looking into this, to look into this and other leaks of classified information uh, that are troubling to our nation's national security. <sighs> it's going to be a long day. And it also includes FBI Director Comey. who in his first appearance since President Trump's tweets over the weekend did not address the claim at all. Even the president's own press secretary, when pressed, said that the matter is above his pay grade. The smartest and most deliberative way to address the situation is ask the House and Senate intelligence committees who are already in the process of looking into this. And today we learned that President Obama, no stranger to Donald Trump's needling, Theoretically, he's the one sitting on this non-existent evidence. I think if we were to start to get involved, you would then write stories about how we were getting involved. But still not offering any proof as to why the president would suggest that he had been wiretapped by former President Barack Obama. So they said, well, we want to monitor communications involving Donald Trump and several of his advisors. In October 2016, the Obama administration tried again. They submitted a slightly more narrowed down request to the FISA court. Now they focused on a computer server in Trump Tower. Ooh, there are links to Russian banks and so on. Since President Trump's shocking claim that President Obama spied on him. And while there's still no evidence from the White House... This is Imagination Land. They wrote, we would take any abuse of wiretapping authorities for political purposes very seriously. We would be equally alarmed to learn that a court found enough evidence of criminal activity or contact with a foreign power to legally authorize a wiretap of President Trump, the Trump campaign, or Trump Tower. So they said, well, we want to monitor communications involving Donald Trump and several of his advisors. In October 2016, the Obama administration tried again. They submitted a slightly more narrowed down request to the FISA court. The seemingly unfounded wiretapping allegation casting a shadow over Trump's other ambitions. Oh, stop it. You kids don't even know what you're talking about. You're stuck with me for about another six and a half years. Don't you want to see him fry? Meanwhile, the subject of these allegations, former President Obama, denied through a spokesman ever ordering surveillance of a U.S. citizen. That, that's factually incorrect. Sources say... This? His imagination land. Obama was, quote, irked and exasperated and in a state of disbelief about Trump's wiretapping claims. Nope, he's very confused. He's not crazy, he's an idiot. I know how to deal with these people. And so this is, a, it's called a wrap-up smear. You make up something and then you have the press write about it and then you say everybody's writing about this charge, it's a tool of an authoritarian to just have you always be talking about what you want them to be talking about.